What's up guys, this is the Broferman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off, uh, we have we were waiting to see if they would assault Vilnius. They have not. They have attempted to demand our surrender. We have refused. So because we, there is only one turn left, we are assaulting them with a the relief force led by Frederick Adam. Wellesley here is waiting for space to drive eastward. So let's attack. Smolensk, ahead of their advance. There should be little to no resistance all the way to the east. So it should be quite a quick drive onwards to Moscow, and then we are getting towards the tail end of this campaign. <laughs> I mean, so they're all over there. Wait, this is a. Oh, okay. I was reading this as the battle line, it's the deployment zone. That was really sneaky of them, pointing me that way. Because I'd have gone, I'd have set my line up, and then actually it's like, no, they're over here. Well, we're engaging them in close order. That's what the Highlanders excel at. Let's deploy them fairly blocky for now. Deploy them fairly blocky because I can always. Um, might just deploy. I might just deploy all my guns in this battery. So let's keep King's German Legion back as a bit of reserve in the centre. Again, quite blocky. So my, my plan is to actually. De deploy properly once they enter the field. Bit of a... Yeah, I can see the reinforcements coming along in a not opportune position, but not terrible either. Take a no. I don't need a unit. My don't need to engage my reserves in that fight. Okay, all of you. Each go for one battery, and you guys are going to not need to advance out that far. You are going to want to do this. Let's push our cavalry around to there. Soon to be Just absolutely hose their cavalry with canister shot. Because they did fancy their chances. Go for the first light horse. Driving up at high speed. Switch back to canister. Start engaging the Russian assault head on. God, going for my general. Let's get him back under cover. Poor, poor devils. Considering it's only militia coming in support. Oh, they're going after my gunners, the devils. The gunners are going after you. It's dangerous to advance because I've got lots of. Ah, not the cavalry. Not my cavalry. Let's run them out to the flank, ready to intercept this 12 pounder unit. Let's 
you go after the Grenadiers, you go after the Kutuzov himself as he's exposed. As he's exposed himself to canister shot. So it's inset 12 pound over here. Cavalry charge, but it's just mounted rifles, so who gives a darn? Get this corner company to provide to get to get into flank. To get into square formation, sorry. Scared off Katuzov. Switch you to round shot, begin engaging longer range targets. Katuzov's actually trying to protect the artillery, which we've caught on the march. It says intercept the general himself. So, good thing about square formation is at least it's providing good fire support in all directions. Keep chasing him down. Say is shaken. Make ready. Fire. They tried to charge the cauldron, the, the the square formation. Let's get my cavalry in, but be careful of the spikes. General's gone. Let's just bring my cavalry in to hit their guns. Actually, let's just send the light dragoons in. They're only mounted rifles after all, they're not. As soon as they rout, though, pull them back. Hey, the Katuzov came back. Okay, let's take the cavalry over here. They're going to route through the square. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must hey, he was their famous general, but he's only wounded. Wink, wink. I don't think. Oh, these are. Oh, this is a. Preboraznitsky guards. Let's turn the firewall off. Just have at them with my cavalry. Have at them with my artillery. With my infantry, sorry. They might get one last blast of cast to show off. And they missed! <laughs> but that's them. Done. Well, except for this foot guard unit. The fifth foot guard is putting up a, uh, a valid defence, but it's not enough. Let's actually try kill some of these guys because they're routing a good direction so speed up time 
So they're routing in an area that means I don't have to worry about stakes. I mean, they're not, they're not routing for very long before getting away. Eh, they're going to get away. Got to leave something interesting. For the later battles. If you don't get off the field, you're going to be chopped to bits. That was not close. No way in hell was that close. Sure, they were close to killing my general. But that was a darn good battle. Chase them down. Dead. Dead. Good stuff. The path is open. Wellesley can just drive east immediately. Henry Clinton, be careful, because there is an army down here. So I want to move Stowell down here and Frederick Adam over here, ready to, to try and trap that army when it exposes itself. Lots of awards for Michael Stowell, even though he didn't actually do much of the fighting, or any of the fighting. He's done darn good though. That's all been done. This route, this way open will be free when Wellesley's done. This army's going to push up north now. Actually, you push north. James, secure the pass here. You just attack that lone unit. We lost. There's. There's no way in hell that should have lost 800 men. Well, take the bridge. And that's cut them off from around the rear. Standard army, got some cool cavalry units. Got some Simonovsky guards. Okay, let's hit and turn. Oh yes, yeah, so, oh, no, I'm recruiting ships to send my spies over to France. That's what I'm doing. Hello. Hello. The Moscow garrison is coming. <laughs> is coming out to it. To attack Brerisford. But it's a bridge battle, so that should be. Well, I say, you know. Um, but we know how the Russians like to charge up at high speed. And they could. They could actually make a. They could actually make a crossing quite. No! Oh, back against the river? That's completely not what I thought it'd be. Or... <laughs> the fools. Is my deployment zone? Yes. Sea game. You wanted me to actually defend this. So there's two crossing points. So we need to cover them both, ideally. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. So the Highlanders and the Guards can cover one bridge. Or well, one falling point. These can cover the other... Fusiliers can cover the other falling point. Max Bridge is going to be ready to cross the river wherever they don't attack. And our howitzer is going to sit in the safety here. His shells can cover... Oh, I can't cover the fur... No, no, it can. It can cover. Good. So from there he's got a good cover of both the fords. 
So let's see where they make their effort. In the meantime, let's set up our kill boxes. So these guys might have to pull back. And actually, I might put both of you guys in. So the weakened unit is enough to fill a nice gap. Then the other box. I mean, handily, it looks like they want to... Well, doesn't they are dispersing their forces somewhat. The bulk of their effort certainly seems to be this Ford. Whichever position is the weakest will be... the one I, I prefer to fight. So I'm going to pivot these guns because it looks like they want to change Yeah, okay. I think this is the one they want to go for. They want to go for the one on the right. So let's start to peel off some of our Highlander units to provide some support while we also still have a, a force provide or to prevent a forced crossing over here because they might send a couple of units of infantry our way Send, might keep one of these guys back because they are decent guard units. Let's run these guys over here. Let's target this unit of musketeers which will seek to cross. First half of shots are off. This artillery position, but we'll be able to shoot at A, the infantry attacking the breach, but also provide some supporting fire over towards the other crossing. Let's speed up time. And let's take Uxbridge over to the weaker flank so that when the sides have merged, they can cross over and start to pick off some of these artillery units. What might actually end up having to happen is this. In case they attempt to skirmish us across the river. Time. The artillery is doing its good work. Looks like they might actually decide not to make this crossing at all. Oh, I've put them in a not not brilliant spot when it comes to canister shot. Glorious 
glorious victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. Then the howitzers specifically just to drop shells into the crossing point. Here they come. Our first catch of the day is the 74th. And away they go. They really can't decide if they want to push over the river. Oh no. The 77th are pushing east. Let's push these guys in just to provide a bit more support because they can hit units crossing. Oh, if I had a good quick climb shot here. Bam! As they attempt the mass crossing, canister shot ranging in. Good, got one breaking. Two breaking, three breaking. Good stuff. So let's get our other artillery. Try and take out their horse artillery, because that unit's pretty weakened now. Okay, yep, yeah, starting to cross. Nope. This is going to be a slaughter. Yeah, morale is doing pretty bad. These poor Russian devils. Is that cavalry f going over there? It is. The Ninth Light Horse. Pavlograd Hussars. Look rather nice. These guys are just asking to rout. Because they're all wavering. Shaken, steady. Gets one routing. All of them routing. Good stuff. Just keep blasting them with canister shot. keep trying to come back but it will be produce the same result if the cavalry forward that might cause problems because then we'll start to hit we'll start to be firing you know piecemeal oh excellent Cav artillery shot Look at that line Where's the general? So he's here providing some support. Pity I've not got. Actually, where's my light infantry? It'd be good if I had them here skirmishing across the river, maybe. It's good how it's a shot landed in back there. Okay, now let's specifically target the guards.
because they are reforming fairly well. Okay, who are you? Lifeguard Hussars. Come on, next bridge. Let's make a crossing. Let's bring Beresford over to support the breach. It's not the breach, it's support the crossing. You think they'd be more dead than that? I think the game's just slowly phasing them out. This is part of the reason why I want a new computer, so that I can just crank these settings right up. Like when I say get a new computer, I want to spend about fifteen hundred quid on new parts, thereabouts. And I've already got the case and lots of other stuff. Close as they've come yet, that's the high water mark. I mean, ultimately, I'm not even bothered about chasing them down. Yep, yeah, mass routes. Just keep bombing him. Bring up Uxbridge. He should beat the light horse. If I can f get a couple of good cannon shots off at them. No. Play it safe. Come on, Uxbridge. Is there any light cavalry? I mean, it's surprising how well these guys have held on anyway. They'll be back. Damn right you're losing. You're light horse and we're horse guards. Oh, trying it again. No, they're not. So you don't want to move these guys at all. They can just stay where they are. Last remaining foot guard unit. Poor souls. Okay, Doki. Yeah, you've been getting picked out by artillery, but. So this little mound has done a lot of good to save your lives. Okay, let's actually speed this up a little bit, because right now... Yep, so that crossing's been done... Or is done. So let's get... the artillery to fire further back. Let's let... Uxbridge deal with these artillery crews one at a time. Okay, now let's just turn off all our artillery fire. Advance up Uxbridge. There's a hundred lancers there, that's not great. Enemy general's been killed very quickly. Routing artillery, routing artillery. Chase down the lancers. End battle. Lovely, lovely victory for Beresford there. He might. Then again, it depends on how the numbers look. 
So let's see what the damage was done. Oh, lost 141 men, and they lost two and a half thousand. My marines are still well experienced. My artillery's gained some ranks. Nine pound of four artillery, no doubt firing canister shot. Went up. That's three, and that's six. So it's gone up three experience levels in one game. Well, that's what happens when you're blasting canister shot into blogs of men. Sweet. So long, Moscow garrison. So there are armies heading north. Hold on, where's my phone? Okay, good. So I've gone on a bit of a streak recording my Great Britain campaign right now. Normally I record them one at a time, but right now... Like, I've not really been enthused to play my Great Britain campaign recently, but, you know, I've recorded... One, two, three. This is my third part in a row. Good, so you've got percussion cap. Sorry, Schleswig. Oh, I didn't know I could just do a straight building swap. That's pretty neat. Court of Appeals, lots of good stuff. A logging camp up here. George and Murray. Maintain the siege. Let's bring Roland out. Dispatch the fifteenth to kick their navy into the into the uh, the open sea, but it's just a bunch of fifty gun ships. Yeah, it's pretty comprehensive. Let's put him inside port to do whatever repairs are needed. Let's bring the fifteenth back to Roland Hill. March him north to cross the bridge. I said now Novgorod's penned in. Well, as they continue to march, Frederick Adam go to cover this bridge. So we've got Mr. Abercrombie. Who do we want to send? Send Mr. Abercrombie. Attack Dmitry Petrovitz Rezvi. Hey, they've retreated. The scoundrel. Damn right, grind him into the dirt. Sweet. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another battle crushing the Russians into the dirt. And this Severus Snape looking chap's about to get. Um, get himself killed, I help. Killed, I help. Killed, I hope. Jesus Christ. Radio, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.